Tēnā koutou katoa, nā mihi nui ki a koutou, ko Janus te tākua ngoa, ko au te puarihi o ko hakai. I'm a proud wahine Māori, who seven years ago saw a need in the community and decided to do something about it. Not by thinking about it and imagining what I could do to solve the problem, but by committing to it and taking action to create change and ensure it became sustainable for the people I work for, tangata haua, or tangata whaikaha, as more commonly known. Essentially, I am a solutions-focused person committed to creating change in the disability sector. Because make no mistake, that's what all of us need to do if we truly want to make a difference to create equity for everyone in your community and to take action to live what we believe. I believe that everybody deserves the right to trade their time and their efforts and be paid a, mini a living wage minimum. If your business is generating income, no matter if it's like for us, for charitable purposes, or if your business is private enterprise and you're in business to provide for your family and for your future, if you are generating income for your business by using the time, the efforts, and the skills of people employed by you, then you should be writing into your business plan an ability to pay all people employed by you a living wage. Kōhākai is made up of two halves. Half is about teaching people with disabilities, people who are neurodiverse, physically impaired, with intellectual disabilities, or any disability which marginalises, isolates, or creates inequity for them. The skills they will need to firstly live independently and autonomy in the community, then, if they identify or tell us that they want to grow those skills, build capacity and find gainful employment, then we transition them to the other side of kōhākai, the social enterprise side, the side that goes out into the community and generates income for the organisation. That provides the income that allows us to offer our teaching programme to people free of charge. It's a tough world in business right now. For us, every dollar we make goes back into our charity to provide those learning opportunities for people. There are no individuals who stand to benefit directly from us being profitable. Rather, it's our teaching programme which benefits. But a priority for us is to acknowledge the learning period where people were developing employable skills, essentially doing an apprenticeship that takes them from the lounge chair to the workplace. No matter if they're internship or cadetship or apprenticeship, which are all just labels for the same thing, no matter if it takes them eight months or four years, when they transition from learning to earning, they're paid the living wage as the starting point for their employment future. Kōhākai is a living wage employer. Nobody told us we had to do it. Most of us at some point in our lives have known poverty, have known what it feels like to work for 40 hours a week in three jobs, to find ourselves just $25 better off at the end of the week, not being able to manage without that $25. Imagine what it's like for people with disabilities. This was our priority. This was our intention. We wrote our business plan for our enterprise to reflect our priorities and we made it happen. It's not easy. It took us five years to get there, but then the first three and a half years, nobody got paid at all. So it could be argued that it's only taken us two years from the moment we made the decision to generate our own income through enterprise. But now that we are there, it remains our priority to support people to live reasonably in their community. We're happy to work with you to get there as well, but becoming a living wage employer starts with a desire and a commitment and then actions to make this style of, of doing business your priority. Tēnā tātou katoa.
All the best to you all.